Okay, got this uh, 58 inch Samsung. It's totally dead. There's no light. It should be a light right there. <clears throat> should blink. Um, but it says absolutely nothing. This is a 58 inch Samsung. They didn't make too many of these. So um, let's see what's going on. Okay, just to verify the model number of this TV, this is a uh, UN5H Henry 5202 uh, AFXZA, 58 inch Samsung LED. So we'll go ahead and remove our back cover. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the uh, 60 inch in some of my videos. Uh, just don't forget those screws up underneath uh, where the actual stand goes. make sure that you do put those screws back when you are reassembling the TV okay you can see we got our back cover off and uh, it's our main board TCOM board and um, of course our power supply uh, that also supplies power to our LEDs and another thing I want to point out is this is where your Wi-Fi module is. It's right next to the toggle switch. And I'm just telling you that just in case you have any problems getting on the internet uh, and you know you put in your right password but it still won't connect, uh, just change that little black box, the little Wi-Fi module next to the power button. Those do go bad. Okay, so we're gonna first of all focus on our power supply board. Um, it's a dead TV, so of course, uh, one of the thir first things that we're probably going to check is the AC fuse. Most likely, if that is blown or open, uh, you do have a short. Okay, that one is good, reading zero ohms. So if that's good, I wanna go right to the um, plug going from the power supply to the main board. Um, usually in most cases that I tell you if it's the power supply or the main board causing a dead TV set because the main board can also cause that too. Okay, so we wanna check our standby voltage and uh, fortunately for us, uh, the, that plug does have a legend next to it. If I can zoom my camera in on it correctly. Okay, there you go. And this particular set uses, uh, instead of the normal uh, five volts, uh, it uses the uh, 13 volts. Uh, that would be the standby when you plug the TV set in. Okay, so you should have 13 volts um, on those pins on the outside. That is DC voltage. Okay, that bottom pin is ground, so we'll get nothing there. Okay, I'm going to plug that... Uh Okay, now I'm plugging my TV set in, so I guess I'm I finally got getting ready to make my voltage checks. Turn it 
turn my meter to DC volts. Start with that top end, top pin. Uh, as you can see, it should be 13. It's only reading those three 13 volt pins. It's only reading one volt. And as you can see, it is jumping around a little bit. So that definitely is a problem. And of course, that's the reason that we have a dead TV set. Okay, I'm gonna unplug that plug. Plug our, plug our power back into our TV and recheck them and make sure that nothing on the main board is loaded down or vice versa. Okay, I'm still getting the one volt on each pin. So that definitely lets me know that we have a bad power supply, correct? Yes, okay. Uh, like I said, that should be 13 volts, uh, even in the standby mode. Before we power the TV set on, um, there should be, as long as the TV set is plugged in, there should be 13 volts across those pins, but it is not. So, I want to break it down even further. Right? Everybody wants to see component level troubleshooting or, or board repair. So, uh, let's see if we can go ahead and repair this one to find out what the problem is, okay? Now, the first thing that we check on a TV with a problem like that, with the uh, standby line down or jumping around is to make sure that we don't have any shorts because most likely that is our problem there is a short we're going to check make sure that you check all of your big power diodes um, I'm checking those those are actually shocky diodes that's why the reading is so low on one side but that, that's fine as long as they're not completely shorted And I want to check our smaller diodes. Those are all good, looks like. And also make sure that you check your FETs or trans transistors, anything on any transistor or FET on a heat sink, make sure you check those. And I also see a burn spot on, on the board and there's a, a low value resistor. I'm going to check that, make sure that it's not open. And get it on ohms and uh, yes. So yeah, that's, that's, that's about right. Okay, I'm gonna take the board off and turn it around. And I'm just gonna point you right to the problem here. <coughs> you see those surface mounted diodes? There's like, I'm, I'm sorry, surface mounted FETs so or transistors. There's like four of them on the bottom. Make sure that you check those. Especially that one, okay? Okay, that one is not shorted.
okay and that fat or transistor is reading short okay now that is actually a transistor that does power up that transformer uh, for our standby voltage um, the transformers on top uh, as you can see that is shorted uh, that is always the problem on this board on this 58 inch Samsung dead set and uh, basically you just replace that um, I'm gonna try to zoom in and get the part number uh, it's a 5R380 MOSFET I believe I think it's like 5 amps 380 volts I'm not sure those numbers actually do stand for something and that uh, MOSFET was on the secondary, uh, secondary or cold side of the power supply board and I am not sure about the location number because I couldn't see it but there's only one you'll find it it's just test all four of them okay there's two on the primary and two on the secondary now uh, with this set it's kind of weird because actually what happens is that uh, the LEDs actually will short out that transistor uh, I had one which I replaced that transistor twice and it came back and found out that the LEDs were bringing that down and I do believe that on these LEDs I'm um, just checking both of the lines they should be around 100 volts I'm not sure but as you can see I'm getting completely totally different readings on both lines uh, that is an indication that there are some bad LEDs on the TV inside of the TV and so that is our main problem um, but actually I'm just going to replaced that FET. I do have a new one there. And I'm just gonna use my heat gun and just kind of um, melt that off, pull it out. that is the best way to pull these off make sure your heat is not up too high otherwise you will start bubbling up the board okay as you can see that came right off and I'm just going to keep a little heat on there and replace my new one on there until I get it straight and just kind of hold it on there until it dries up cools down it's not going to be perfect because I'm trying to get a good angle with the camera here so I can't really like you know get situated enough but um, as long as it's good there, that looks good. Now I know some people are going to say, oh, I got to use flux, got to clean the board off and all that kind of stuff. Hey, look, however you want to do it is fine, okay? Um, that, that's great, okay? This is just, I'm just doing this just to show you guys what the problem is, and I'm going to continue doing it that way while I'm on camera. Okay, the short is gone okay all right so I've got uh, my board back in there I'm going to fire it up and um, well first of all let's see I got my TV plugged in obviously and there it is uh, there's our 13 volts 12.8 volts good enough on all three of those pins and like I said, the TV is in standby. It is not on yet. Okay, it's just plugged in. Okay. And so that's good enough. And as you can see, uh, we've got it. Now, like I said, those pro the problem was the actual LEDs. But if you turn the uh, LED, uh, the backlight setting down, uh, in most cases you can get away with this. Um, you know, for a while. Uh, it may last. I've had one that never came back. Um, the guy didn't want to pay for the LEDs, so I just told him to turn the LED backlights down to about halfway. And uh, the guy never called back, so I guess it's fine. Um, but um, as you can see, that little transistor there or FET was our main problem. So thanks for watching, guys, and make sure that you do subscribe. Big dog out.